Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Shutters and Speed. Today, we have a real treat in store, I have to say. I've got the legend that is Mr. Philip Horn here with me, and he has with him one of his fabulous collection of Morris Miners. So, we'll just run them their titles, boy, and then we'll tell you a bit more about this fabulous machine we have in front of us. Yeah, so welcome back to Shirts and Speed. As we mentioned earlier, we have this fabulous Morris Miner here with the split screen and all the usual stuff that is pretty sexy to you know Morris Miner owners. And uh, our good friend Philip is here to, who's kindly agreed to show it to us. So Philip, could you tell me a bit more about this this lovely vehicle we have in front of us? I mean, I suppose what we really want to know initially is how you came by, came by it in the first place. Yeah, well. Years ago, we used to go to shows and never had nothing to take, and we, we came across this in Wispeach years ago. Well, in 1993, we uh, found it, and uh, me and my friend, we restored it, and uh, it's a 1956 split screen, Series 2, Morris Minor. It's Empire Green, and it's got a 803cc engine, um, so the engine is that is that the sort of the size they work? I mean, everybody sort of thinks that these are Morris thousands, don't they? Yes, the yeah, CC yeah, engine. yeah. No, the Series Twos was eight oh three. Okay. Yeah, a little eight oh three overhead valve engine. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and how, what sort of nick was it in when you found it? Um, it needed it. The person who had it, he had started restoring it. He's restored underneath the the floor. Uh -huh. We had to put new skins on the bottom of the doors, new wings, uh -huh. and, um, and, and... And what about the paintwork? What yeah, we, we've had a, we had a completely respray. Oh, I see, So yeah. we, ru we rubbed it completely down, took yeah. it right down to the metal and yeah. resprayed it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, and did you have any difficulty getting hold of the original colour paint? No, no, no. no. Um, there's so many greens in Morris Miners. <laughs> um, We've got two split screen ones, and right. both both of them are different colour greens. Oh right, okay. But this is the Empire green, but I being mean, a split screen, it was the last 1956. That was w one of the last ones that was made. You yeah. Know? yeah. I mean, one of the details that's striking me here, just standing here looking at it, is this lovely white coach line or cream coach line yeah, you've got coming yeah, down there. Yeah. Yeah. So is that is that something that that would have come with a standard? It would have come with a standard. Really? Yeah. yeah. So that that is totally on the money. Yeah. Original. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, well, we'll um, we'll probably go for a little ride, hopefully in a moment. Yeah. But, okay. Um, yeah, just to still see how the cross. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I still got the cross ply tires on. Oh, right. Okay. Originally. Yeah. You know. And are they difficult to come by? Yeah, they they're not easy to come by. Right. Okay. But okay. We did manage to get a set of Dunlops. Yeah. For it. Well, that's fantastic. Well, what we'll do is, I think, is we'll just um, have a close look at one or two details yeah. on it, and then uh, we'll go for a quick spin. No if that's all right. No problem. Right. So here we are in the sort of uh, <laughs> the power plant, as it were. Um, uh, so Philip, what's what's the story behind the engine here then? Um, well, when when we first got it, we did go right through it, do, did the big ends and the pistons and and uh, so forth in yeah. there. Um, there's not that much to do really. No. It's the, um, just put new. I think we put new. Whether we put new rings in, uh, we put new rings in. Whether we put new pistons, I don't know. Right. Then we did new shells on the big ends and that. Okay. Um, 
but um, you know, they they seem to go forever. These little old it, overhead, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Head valve engines, the little A series ones. Yeah. I understand also that um, um, I, I, we've got a sort of mutual friend uh, um, who I was talking to about this, and he was telling me that um, you had to travel some distance in some cases to find original engines. Is was that the case? Yeah, I, I did go down to. Um, near Reading to get uh, some parts for the gearbox. Right. Yeah. But um, they're quite, uh, you know, readily available. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, now. Okay. Yeah. All oh, right. Well, that's, yeah. that's very interesting to know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she uh, she looks absolutely, well, almost out of the factory <laughs> from this from this angle. So, um, you know, I suppose the next thing we've really got to find out is how this all works together and in a ride out on it, so yeah. or in it, so to speak. Yeah, so we'll no uh, problem. We'll fire her up and see how we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we are. Then we're back on. We're on the road, as it were. <laughs> yeah. well, we're we're in, out for a ride, and I have to say, um, this, look, this is bringing back a lot of memories. I mean, back in the day, this was considered to be a family car, I guess, um, and um, you know, you, you'd stuff, you know. Uh, mum and dad and probably the two children and all the luggage on the roof and off you'd go wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So what, what are your recollections of, uh, of, of that lifestyle then? Well father, when father was alive we had a Morris Thousand Traveller right. at the latter part of his, of his time and uh, and then I think you know that sort of gave us the idea to have Morris Morris Miners after that, you know. Yes. But, uh, so that, that was like a trip down memory lane yeah. for you as well. True. Absolutely true. fantastic. Well, <coughs> you know, the, the thing about this is, is that you know, when you when you ride in something like this, and over the past few months, I've been very privileged to for people to allow me to film this sort of thing. Um, it's the, it's the sort of the heritage that you're maintaining for future generations. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know you know obviously this car belongs to you, and that's great. But at some point or other, unfortunately, we're all going to leave this world, that's aren't we? True. Um, true. And hopefully, these will be passed on to people who will who will maintain and carry on the the, yeah. the you know the uh, the legacy, if you like. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I think most people have been connected with a Morris Minor or Morris Thousand in their life somewhere in the Ab family, haven't they? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, <laughs> yeah. and the thing is, well, you see, I mean, you know, for all the modern hustle and bustle of um, you know modern machinery, um, riding along in this has a has a lovely charm. It, it seems, you know, you you just you're just taking in the views, aren't you? You're just yeah. driving yeah. along, nice and steady. You know, there's no rush, no hurry. Um, and that's just a fa you know, fantastic experience. Yeah. The old uh, the old paintwork on the bonnet there was really sort of gleaming in this sun, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. This, in this late September sunshine. That really is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, kept well, really. Absolutely. Thirty years. Is that is that how long it's been painted? Twenty nine years. Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we last painted it. Well, we, we painted it when we restored it. You know, in yes. nineteen ninety three. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I suppose this one, being the first one, probably has a little bit of a, a special place in your heart. Yeah, maybe? that has in the wife's heart. Really? That's her favourite, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. My friend, he painted it. He's a carpenter by trade, but he's the one who sprayed it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I know it's a horrible thing to um, to talk about, but, um, uh, you know, a lot of the viewers are going to be wondering how much something like this is worth. <coughs> yeah, so, it's... It's difficult, really. Yeah, it's yeah. worth what anybody wants to, to pay, pay, really. Yeah. But, uh, but I think I think the nostalgic value is is far greater. Don't well, you yes, yeah. Yeah. And so when we've restored them, we've not sort of kept count of what has cost us. You know, no. we've we've done it. You know, for the pleasure, really. Yes, for the passion. What, yeah. 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 I know. I know. Um, I know of a lot of motorcycle restorers that are like that. They just don't really. They don't really care what it costs. No. No. They just um, they just go go about their business, and when it's finished. They might pass it on to somebody, yeah. you know, and I think they're very selective about who they do pass these pass, things on yeah. to for obvious reasons. Um, but then they go on to another project, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. The problem is, I think, with you, Philip, is that you've kept all your projects. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've kept theirs. <laughs> we've had a lot of pleasure out. We've been to Ireland, Southern Ireland, three times in this. Really? Yeah. Cool. Jersey. Yeah. 
and prove extremely reliable. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, just keep plodding along. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, actually, we are we are sort of cruising along here, what, 45 miles an hour? Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's, that seems quite yeah. happy at that, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah, yeah. that'll, that'll um, cruise 55, no problem. Really? Really, yeah, on a good main road. And of course, you know, with, with speed limits as they are now, and of course, I think I think it's fair to say that um, speed is something that's being clamped down more and more on modern roads. Yeah, true. It, it, it does beg the question, you know, why do we need to go any faster? Well, no, that's true. No, it's been, it's fantastic. Sometimes you see cars come by you doing 60 or 70 and that, and but when you get up. The, set of traffic lights or something around about you, you're caught and back up again. Yeah, that's quite right. often, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just plodding along. Yeah. I don't know whether that's my age, but I, you know, I, 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 was, I, I guess when I was younger, I was into speed. I well, suppose, like, yeah. like we all were. We but, were but, yeah. but when you get to a certain age, you know, going along sedately like this is just unbelievable. It's, yeah. You know, it's such a pleasure. And like Richard. I say, it's a real trip, a trip for me to have the privilege to ride in something like this. Um, you know, at this at this stage of my life, yeah, you know, it's really fantastic. So thank yeah. you very much for that. Okay. Well, I tell you what, Philip, that that was a real trip down memory lane for me. Um, I can, I mean, we. <laughs> When I was younger, my, my father had one of these, not the split screen variety, that was a, a later one than that, but that, that, that was a Morris 1000. Yeah. Um, and I can remember going on many a trip in one of these <laughs> with, with everybody piled in, and that yeah. was fantastic. So, yeah. you know, that just brought back all those memories again, which is yeah. fantastic. So, yeah. thank you so much for allowing us to have a look at this fabulous car today. You're welcome. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope that everybody who's been watching the video has enjoyed it as well. So without further ado, I think we will call an end to proceedings here and now. Yeah. So once again, I'd just like to say, say thank you to Philip for allowing us to have a look at this fabulous vehicle and uh, also to you for watching. Yeah. Now, obviously, if you've enjoyed this video, I would hope that you would like and subscribe uh, because hopefully there'll be one or two more videos of this type uh, with cars maybe as well as the you know the sort of more more traditional motorbikes that we see on the channel um, but you know hopefully that we'll see a few more of these as time goes on so it's goodbye from philip yeah goodbye and it's goodbye from me and we'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>